I really wanted to create this piece with the idea that you could come away humming some tunes that sounded like they were timeless, that they, that they were sung to you as a child, even if they weren't, but also a relevance of a narrative that speaks to you. Both of those things can happen simultaneously. And I always try to aim for that with all of my music, but especially with this piece, with the chorales being um, sacred harp tunes rearranged with uh, transcendentalist poetry. It's a unique combination, and I was lucky that it turned out to be great. There's a ton of great poetry that fit really well, these sacred harp tunes. So I'm very excited for that. The sacred harp tunes are, I guess, technically from our church heritage, um, but I would say more that they were, they were built uh, upon the idea of, of musical education and community, I would say. Um, but then on top of that, you have the very traditional passion form. And meanwhile, I've also written material that totally does not relate to a church service or liturgy of any sort. So there's a wide variety of material there. I really believe in access as a composer. And so I wrote this piece with the idea that there are plenty of, of components that are excerptable. A lot of these sacred harp tune um, chorales are excerptable. I'm actually gonna release a book of chorales from this passion. Um, and then there are arias that work for soloists as just art song material. And then even individual choruses can be used as uh, anthems for Sunday morning uh, or outside of the sacred space. So my goal was to create something that's really excerptable. Part of the reason why I love writing is that I am alive and somehow whatever ends up on the page is a, a portion of me. And what I also love is when that change is based on other people's perception, what their gut reaction tells them about the piece. And I find that to be really special. It means that it becomes our piece. It's not just mine.